Would you still care to talk to me? So, uh, what's up, guys? It's here, here, Binding Note or Quadigy. And in today's video, I've got a special video slash not semi special video. Depends on how you look at it. In today's video, I'm going to show you pretty much what you get when you complete all of the officer rank challenges past level 55. If you case you guys didn't know from level 56 to level 155, those are called officer ranks that you pretty much complete. And with those ranks, you also get challenges, which you access here in your rank progression. So we're going to click on here and you guys are going to see that I have every single challenge completed in Call of Duty Modern Warfare and what the emblem looks like. Let's look at it right now. Wow! There you go. All of them are completed. They finally fixed uh, doing work. I don't know why it was glitched before in the previous update, but they recently fixed it in the hotfix where you have to earn a triple kill or better while killing defenders. I was trying to record this video whenever that update went out because I heard this was going to be fixed. Because I was going to be really excited to, you know, make a video on me completing doing work. And then when the day came, the, or the night came, I guess you could say, and this was not able to be finished, I was so freaking mad. I'll probably show you the fails right now. Oh, oh, I got it. I got it. I got one. I got one. Yep. That was perfect. Are you sure about that? Let's find out. See, I wish I got that four. I don't know if that counted, but we'll see. Still says one out of five. I'm not good then. Yo, this shit might be broke or something, bro. Make sure you guys drop a like, subscribe if you're new, turn on those post notifications if you guys feel bad for me, or if you feel bad for yourself if you were trying to get this freaking last challenge done and it wasn't available. But they finally fixed it. I think you only have to do it once and they'll just give it to you. I don't think you have to do it five times. But yeah, I've got every single challenge completed. As you guys can see, in the bottom right, you get the max emblem for completing all of the challenges. What do you guys think about it? Do you guys think it looks good? There's no way that I can see how you can equip it though, or like if other people can see my freaking emblem. But hey, I guess it looks nice. You know, Infinity Ward make us be able to change our emblem maybe? Because we cannot do that at all. Or, I don't know, man. I don't know what they're doing. But anyways, in this video, I'm also going to tell you guys, I, I guess I'm going to give you a nice little tips and tricks for doing every little officer rank challenge in here. So, assault rifle kills, that's easy. Just play the game. Uh, 35 enemies, that's another basic one. 15 matches of TDM, that's just, you know, more just long th doing things than anything else. Five frag kills. Play Domination, Headquarters, or even Ground War. But I prefer Domination or Headquarters because it's, uh, it's a smaller objective space. And if you throw a, or a hard point. If you throw a grenade into the hard point, the HQ, or the flag when they're, like, capturing it, then just time it right and you'll get, like, a double kill or triple kill. I'll probably have some examples right now. Oh my god. Double kill. There we go. <laughs> that should be it. A little popcorn. Moving onwards, we got unforgiving 75 revenge kills. That just comes comes over time. There's nothing really you can do to accelerate that unless you like really focus on somebody and like free for all or TDM. But that's that's not really like something you can focus on. 30 field upgrades, you just play the game doing that. For call in five UAVs, that's easy. You know, put on hardline if you want to get that one done faster. 75 headshots with submachine guns, uh hardcore. If you guys want to do any of the headshot challenges, Go to hardcore because obviously you kill people faster. If you're good at aiming for the head automatically, then go to hardcore. But if you rely on adjusting your recoil to go all the way up to their head, then core might just be your thing. Depends on how you exactly you play the game. We also got shrapnel. Get 30 kills using explosives while using shrapnel. I would recommend C4 just because you like you can directly choose who to kill with it, or you can just run claymores and just get it progressively that way, or bouncing Betty's. Whatever the case may be. I just feel like you have more control with C4s. 
that's the thing. Flash grenades, use this on HQ. Because, like, when they're all on the HQ, you just blind them and it's easy. Or even ground war. Because when, when they're all on the flag, you just go over there, throw in a flash, and man, you get like six of them. There's a lot of them capturing the flag. So that's really easy. Get three popcorn kills. Okay. Like I said before, just use an objective. You can probably do this one in the frag kills really, really easily if you play HQ. Because it takes a while to capture the HQ. And once they have it captured, usually they'll defend the flag. So just, you know, throw a C4, throw a grenade, whatever the case may be. This one will probably come, like, automatically over time. Uh, but th that would be a way to accelerate the popcorns. Oh! 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 Oh my god! Oh! Are you, oh, are they not oh. recording? Are you recording, Crickshot? 80 Claymore kills? This one just takes a while. You just gotta hope for that people come through, like, various lines of sight. You just you gotta put out some good doors and people will fall for them like nothing. Just run hard lane to get the cruise missile faster. Uh, 125 kills while using ghosts, that's easy. Also, if you guys want to get the enemy UAVs to be more active, hard, uh, either hardcore or ground war, because people love to call in UAVs on ground war. 50 headshots with snipers, you know, ground war would probably be your best friend for that. Stun 60 enemies with stun grenades, ground war will be your best friend. Especially on uh, on quarry, quartz river quarry or whatever. Like, just, just get them on the sea flag and bam. Easy, easy, easy. 25 kills with pistols. Go to hardcore. Pistols are absolutely trash ah! in the game. And going to hardcore would be your best friend. Uh, 60 kills with precision. I hated this one with a passion. Doing this one just, just made me rage so much. If I have any clips of me raging at this, I'll probably post them right now. But anyways, in order to do this the fastest, you just gotta be patient and play either HQ, Ground War, or Dawn. Probably Ground War to be really good because there's a lot more enemies they could potentially kill. But this is gonna take you a long time regardless. I hate the precision airstrike with a passion. Try! 75 projectiles. I did this super easily in uh, HQ, hardpoint, or ground war while capturing a flag. So just, just capture a flag or an objective, put down the trophy system, people will throw grenades like nothing. It's pretty easy. Because people gotta do the like you know the frag kills and they gotta do like the popcorns, whatever the case is. So it, it'll come naturally. It'll come naturally. Go to ground war for destroying vehicles. That's easy. Kill the enemy that has impaired you with a flashbang or concussion grenade 15 times. Run battle hardened. Run, go to your perk 3 and run battle hardened. That's a really good perk to have for this challenge. 20 thermite kills, run it in ground war. If you actually throw your thermites at tanks, it actually kills them really, really fast. So run shrapnel, I believe, or restock, whatever, the, the one that gives you like two thermites. And just throw them at the tanks or whoever you see. Ground War, you'll get this done super, super fast. Um, destroy 10 kills while using the cold-blooded perk. Go to Ground War, run cold-blooded, stay in the back of your spawn, wait for people to call in UAVs, and it's done easy. Kill 150 enemies with your secondary weapon. You can do, you can get that one though, like the overkill one, or just run a pistol and go to hardcore. 40 kills with the shield turn isn't that bad. You just gotta be kind of strategic with where you place it. I tend to run usually HQ with this, and depending on where the HQ is, I'll try to put myself in a very, very good lines of sight or like on a higher elevation. And if I know where they're spawning from, then I'll get a ton of kills. 50 support kill streaks, you'll see people running UAVs like crazy on ground war. So go to ground war and stay in the back of your map and just wait for them get, to get UAVs. This one is another really tough one, white phosphorus. You got to go to ground war for this one. Ground war is going to give you a lot of kills if you place it extremely right. You can get up to like 7 to 8 kills. And I'll probably show you a gameplay here in a bit. Uh, to try and do that because I love the white phosphorus a ton. Give me a multi kill, please. Give me 10 kills, 30 kills. Easy money! <laughs> well, then, that's what I wanted right there. For a fury kill, go to hardcore, because in hardcore, the enemies die faster, and if you can get like a hater, especially in an advanced UAV, you'll be set to pretty much just get that quad feed easily. For clean house, play 6v6. You cannot play 10v10, and you cannot play groundwork for this, because that would be too many players. But if you play 6v6, uh, TDM, Domination, probably Domination or HQ, that way you have more time to kill every player in a, in a single match. But that would be the best way to complete a uh, clean house. For Karma, get 75 kills with an enemy's weapon shortly after picking it up. I like to go to Free For All. You kind of know where all the spawns are at and usually they'll spawn right on top of you anyways. So just pick up their gun and just continue going on a streak and that will help you. And then obviously with doing work, is this kind of more luck based. Wait until your enemies like capture a flag or whatever and then just body them. 
after like like you can wait in the back of the spawn and just wait for them to capture the flag and then just approach them and just just spray them all down and of course quad feed or four piece dinner you got to go to hardcore for that and you can get it done easier i think that's going to conclude it for this video i don't know how long this video is going to be or whatever the case is but you pretty much get nothing like i said before you all you get is a freaking officer emblem i think it's kind of dumb they need to make it so that we can actually see our emblem in game because the way it's at right now i think you only see the five stars so we have the emblems unlocked or you know the officer rank emblems but we we can't equip them or whatever the case is or they're not showing up so they gotta fix that but that's how you complete all 100 challenges in call of duty modern warfare if you guys have any questions make sure you drop in in the comment section below and make sure to subscribe and like if you're new if this helps you at all you guys are all freaking amazing. I freaking love you all. And keep being big ballers. Bye.